How to convert text to curves in Affinity Photo. I've got some text here I've just created earlier. Now, if you go over to the Node tool and try and edit the text, you can't. It's just solid text. You need to convert it into curves, into paths. Now, I'm just going to remove that now. I'm just going to just quickly show you, just quickly create some text. And I'm just going to enter, going to set the value 144 and I'm also going to resize it as well. Very simple text. So it's just pure text at the moment. Now what you can do then is go to layer and convert to curves. That's the key thing here, convert to curves. Once you've actually done that, it's now in curves or paths or outlines, what do you want to call it? You see view and studio and layers, if you want to see the layers panel. And now if you expand out that, you can just see that group, you've got T E X T, individual curves. So what you can do, go to the node tool and you can find that under the pen tool. And now you can edit the actual path. So you can move the points around. The curve is available for you to edit. And you can go to the other character there, just select it either via the layers panel or just click on the actual letter. And once you've done that, you can move the points around to your heart's content or the nodes as it's called in Affinity Photo. And you can create all kinds of text shapes that way. You can also go up to the convert. I'm going to go for smooth. I'm just going to convert that current node to a smooth node. And then I can move it around. I can manipulate it in numerous ways. I can also do various other things such as join curves, reverse curves. I'm not going to do those. I'll just show you that they're available. Again, you can smooth another. Tweak it to your heart's content. And you can work on individual characters or you can just select the whole group there and then just delete it. Now you can also use the frame as well, frame text tool and add some type to that as well or text. Just quickly write something and resize so you can see it. Starts off very small, 144 or 24. And move tool, just resize that slightly. Now. What you can do is layer and again convert to curves and then resize all that group. Now you can break that down, you can see the group, you can expand that and you can select the individual characters and again select the nodes using the node tool. Again click on that one, just drag out the, so you can create all kinds of different weird wonderful shapes just by using the node tool with type. Move that out. Now, unfortunately, there's not many particular features, no sort of amazing path tools available in Affinity Photo. So you've got limited range. Maybe something like Illustrator, you can manipulate far more. It would be really nice if there was more available. But unfortunately, it's just purely dragging the various points or nodes. What you can do, you can also apply layer effects to that layer, that design. And that's individually. So the individual, each shape, can be manipulated. So you can add blurs, outlines, using layer effects. You can also go to the filters menu and apply filters to that as well. You can blur that. Then Once you're happy with that design, click close. And you see all the others are untouched. So you've got this is some, and you've got some sort of variation with layer effects. Now, Convert to curves, that's the key one. I'm just going to remove that now. I'm just going to go back again to artistic type. Well, let's just get rid of the earlier one. Fortunately, it's uh, in the way, so remove that. Now, I've just got one character. I'm just going to quickly show you again one character, and then you can do layer and convert to curves, and then go again to the node tool and manipulate the various nodes that way. And you can distort it, modify it in numerous ways. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe. Always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo as well as many other applications. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated as well. Thank you much.